Haribo! Welcome to Haribo channel. Today I'm gonna make a vegan mayonnaise. It's very tasty, healthy and also economy when you make at home. It's very easy to do. So let's get started. Here I have cold pressed canola oil. I need it for 200 milliliter and 100 milliliter of this is organic soy milk I need white pepper and some Himalayan pink salt or sometimes you call it black salt and common sea salt 1 teaspoon apple vinegar Here I have my soy milk and just mix in all the ingredients First canola oil Yeah, it's very important that soy milk and canola oil both the temperature has to be same I'm mixing in my apple vinegar and salt I think it's too much so I'm adding half of them means like quarter teaspoon each some white pepper Here I would like to explain you this soy milk and canola oil, both liquid has to be in same temperature, exactly like in room temperature, so that they incorporate together into nice creamy to emulsify. So I'm just blending them. Mayonnaise is ready. So the mayo is ready and I'm just gonna make a tartar sauce because I'm thinking to make a fish burger for myself. So let's do that. First, I have some pickles and apples, so they might be a little watery. So I normally, what I do is to add coconut meal little bit so that this can absorb the moisture those who have okara powder that will be great actually okara is better okara powder and add some miles pickles this is a gherkin and a paprika I have some apples I love adding apples and a little bit mustard yeah and I have nice deals So I'm just uh, mixing all of them, maybe a little bit more mayo. So you see the extra firmness here because of the coconut meal. And okay, so let's 
put it in between my sandwich. Now I have a yeah, beautiful whole wheat bread, sliced already. So let's make fish burger, fish sandwich actually. So some vegan butter. Some tomatoes. And the fish. Tartar sauce, some extra black pepper, and lettuce. Today I was using this fish burger from So Fine in Netherlands. It's made of soya, obviously, and totally vegan. It's really fishy taste. I like it. This vegan maya, it's very healthy and tasty when you have homemade at home. Always you can make sandwich spread or tartar sauce or some kind of vegan cheese you can arrange it into bechamel kind of creamy sauce dressings of course you name it they are handy and you feel very safe to eat this because you know what's in there choose different oils for different combinations with milks so I've just made vegan mayonnaise I hope you enjoyed the recipe this originally I got this recipe from somebody in Bulgaria when I used to live there like 20 years or 15 years ago. Nearly, yeah, nearly 20 years ago. Back then there wasn't like vegan mayo available in the supermarket and there was no way you know to get it, so you have to make it yourself. So variation is that today was soy milk, but you can use different plant-based milk. And instead of canola oil, you could use sunflower oil, or rapeseed oil, the, mm, your favorite oil. And you could add a mustard here to make a little yellowish egg yolky, but I keep it aside. And this tartar sauce is great really for the sandwiches and the burgers, just to fill in. The key to not make it soggy. You know, the bread gets soggy that I don't like about the sandwich. So I'm adding always that coconut meal or the okara powder works very well. Also very nutritious, extra dietary fiber. So you mix it in, then that keeps dry, you know, it's very good. So, oops. So thanks for watching. Gosho, it's more don't arigato gozaimasu. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Haribo!